Oh my goodness, is this us? <laughs> Dad, you did this. <laughs> oh my God. Look at this. Hey friends, I'm Marion. So today we're road tripping with Trish Brew, cocktail extraordinaire and just like all round awesome chick. Trish is my backstage pass into a new world of whiskey and the people making it. When I think of whiskey, I kind of think like old, serious, but can whiskey be fun? I'd like to find out. So what's up first? What are we doing? So we're going to Ned's Whiskey. Ned's Whiskey is that classic American style, very corn heavy whiskey, but very approachable uh, and very affordable, I would say as well. So really great, neat or mixed. I'm real, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna smell like whiskey, aren't I? Cheers. <laughs> oh my God, this is so good. Oh, there was a lot of, there was a lot of whiskey on the, the, top. on the top. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yes. Yeah. Very clever. Yeah. Up there for thinking. Like downstairs for dancing. Yeah, that's what my mum used to say. Oh my God. <laughs> Cheers. Sebastian, nice to meet Marianne. you. I'm Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the Barrel House. Thank you. Come Let's go. Let's go. It smells like wine in here, is that? Well, it's the oak. Yeah, it's okay. It's the oak, it's the whiskey. You know, we've got about, what, 600,000 litres of whiskey around us here. And I am like a complete whiskey noob, so right. you, you need to tell me all the well, things. <laughs> come, on, come over here. Okay. And we'll tell you what, what we've got. Bourbon, it's I guess the national whiskey of America. Mm -hmm. It's what they sort of made their own. It's predominantly corn mm -hmm. and it's almost always sour mash and it's new American oak. So we brew like a single malt, but we mash like a bourbon and we distill sort of half and half. Oh. So we sort of say we're trying to take the best of single malt and the best of bourbon to make something Australian. Cool. Shall I pour your taste? Yes, please. It'd be very nice, it? it would, it would. <laughs> that sort of little nose of almost honey. Yeah. And then that little caramel that sort of flows underneath. And there's the Melbourne rain. <laughs> would it be a Melbourne day without a little splash I mean, of rain in it? The terrible Melbourne weather gives good whiskey ah. because all of these barrels, they're alive. And every time you get changes in the weather, the whiskey moves in and out of the oak. Beautiful. It's really yum. <laughs> there you go. We're going to make you a quick highball. Thank you. You know, good mixer, good whiskey. It's going to be a good drink. Let's do it. I'm going to close my eyes. I can still taste all the things, like the beautiful caramel and the little vanilla and all those things, even with the, the mixer in there. Like it's still really top of mind on my palate, which is amazing. You know, everyone's realising that actually whiskey's delicious. You know, you don't have to be worried about it or scared of it. And you might have encountered it, you know, in other ways, but actually when you put it in a glass and with a good mixer, it's really tasty. So ask your bartender, Ask for Ned, ask for a great fever tree mixer. I think you, you're pretty safe. I like it. So Melbourne is your hometown. So can you tell me a bit more about this area? Who are we going to go meet? Absolutely. So we're headed to Brunswick, which is just north of the Melbourne CBD. Kind of a cool kind of hipster area, lots of graffiti, lots of like converted warehouse spaces cool cafes, great places to eat, and obviously home of the Gospel Whiskey Distillery. Yeah. So exciting. I can't wait for you to meet Andrew today, who he and I have been known to drink a few tipples around town. Are we here? Where are we? We're like, oh, what is this? Are we in the right place? What is this clandestine little door? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Okay. How are you going? Hello, I'm Marion. I'm Andrew. Andrew. Oh, <laughs> good to see you. Come in. I thought we were in the wrong place to start with because I was like, where? Wow. We definitely keep it uh, Melbourne-esque, right? Yeah. You know, like, I mean, the, I, I think we're the creator of the hidden distilleries. So uh, the first thing that we're trying is Solero. Basically what it is, is it's a continuous maturation of multiple barrels joined together. So with sherries and ports, I would put wine in the top and then and, and cascade through all the barrels and that's the same with us here. So this is one of our Solera's. We have three Solera systems where you put whiskey in the top barrel and you draw it out through the bottom barrel. So this particular uh, spirit is aged in 
New American oak, second fill American oak, and finished in Australian wine barrels. So it travels down yes. into the different oaks, so oak it, barrels. So what it enables us to do is sort of salt and pepper the profile of the, of the whiskey. So instead of, instead of just going into a barrel sitting there for three years, which certainly nothing wrong with that, it enables us to sort of really curate the flavour that we want. You it's had Mary in a wine barrel, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> wine barrel and then salt and pepper yeah. and then all the things. I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I want to get out of today is like, how do I get to the bar and order like a, a whiskey drink and be, sound really cool about it? Uh, a highball is a, is a new way of really drinking, I guess, new, um, new age whiskies. So uh, having it with dry ginger ale or ginger beer in, in a tall glass with ice. You know, and a highball is really a sessionable way to drink whiskey. There you go. Oh, it's yes. a Yes. Nice and easy. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> exactly. So yeah. tick on all the boxes. I mean, this is I could drink this lunch into dinner. <laughs> Should we just break and dance now? <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Beautiful. I like it. Yeah. Now Good, I, I, feel like, I feel like that's what was a little wild. <laughs> I'm really happy now to be like out and about ordering my rye whiskey. Rye yeah. and dry. Rye I like dry. it. It's my new drink. It's so my new drink. Good. And we've done the rye, we've done the bourbon, and now we're doing like the single malt, right? Absolutely. So it'll be so interesting to see what you think about uh, where we're going next, Starwood Distillery. And these guys are great because they make an Australian whiskey in that sort of classic style, but they really get to experiment with their barrels. Cool. Take it into the new world style. Nice. <laughs> <laughs>
So the most approachable way of drinking whiskey is a whiskey highball. Mm -hmm. And my five commandments are, choose a whiskey that you like, you'll enjoy your drink way more that way. Use good quality and lots of ice, it'll keep your drink colder for longer. Next, choose your favorite mixer that'll complement the whiskey. Make sure you keep that chilled, as it'll keep those bubbles a lot tighter for longer. Number four, choose a glass, a tall glass, because you can fit more in, but make sure it's got a thin lip on it. Finally, a garnish to tie it together. So excited. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs>